A man is shivering in a stirrup as he places some notes of heat in front of him. The woman then goes through the local hair and when the man is not listening, takes the money. She then hides the money and leaves. Oh, cunt man indignant with an eagle. The man then does it again, he takes some cash and puts it in front of him. A man then passes by and sees the money on the ground. She sees that the man wasn't looking, takes the money and leaves. That's why there have never been more honest people in the world. The man then does it again, he holds some money notes and puts it in front of him. Another man then arrives and advises that his money was on the floor. The man then thanks him and picks up the money from the floor. Another man then tells her to be careful as there are many ruined people in the world. The other man then says he needs him gone and the man thanks him. Later, at a job interview, the man arrives at the scene. He then greets the other two people who have been there. The woman then tells him not to be near her as he didn't smell right. He apologizes and says he had to go there on foot because he had no money. The other man then agrees and says it didn't smell right. The two began to lose weight because of the clothes, they say a person shouldn't go to an interview for a big company with that kind of clothes. The man did not understand what they were saying. The woman then takes his resume and starts reading. She then starts to laugh and make fun of him, because on his resume it was written that he was a cleaner. The other house told me there wasn't much chance of competing with her since she had graduated from some of the best colleges in the country. The woman then says that she was better than the other two because she had done three colleges and all of them had been abroad. The other man then tells the woman not to be as bad as him, so the man could indeed get a job at the company, but she would be a cleaner job. The woman then says that they were taking too long and ask if when the payday comes, they would take that way too. The other man then agrees and says they've been waiting a long time. Meanwhile, a company employee arrives and asks her boss if she could ask the candidates to enter. The boss then says that the employee was supposed to tell them to come in. She then goes up to the candidates and greets everyone. She tells them to follow her, as the owner of the company was waiting for them. They then say it was time to start as they had already waited a long time. Inside the room, the business owner greets everyone. He then says that your interview would be based on just one question. The other man then starts laughing and says that it would be so easy. The woman then says that she had wasted a lot of time there and the man asks what the question was. The boss then says the question was, why did he have to hire any of them? The other man then says that the reason for hiring him was that he speaks two languages. The woman says the boss could see the reason in her resume as it was the most extensive and complete among them and that she had three excellent colleges. The boss then takes the woman's resume and says he was really good. He then returns the resume to the woman and asks the man why he should hire him. The man then says that he didn't have any fancy course like the other two and that he was just head cleaner. The boss says he wasn't looking for qualifications as his company could provide for them. He says he was looking for people with character and honesty. The other man then asks how he could not be looking for qualifications and the woman says the boss could only be kidding them. The boss then asks if they considered themselves people of good character. The other man then says that the boss said it was just one question, but now it's two. The woman then says that she had a great character. She says that she always went to church and that she always helped others. The boss then asks if a person who has a good character would steal from other people. 
They then say no and that they would never do something like that. He then says that all the contestants had walked past him earlier and that he was embarrassed for some of them. The two then are shocked by that and say that the owner of the company was crazy. The boss then tells his employee to get him something that would remind them of what he was talking about. The other man then says that he didn't rob him, as the money was on the floor, so it wasn't robbery. The boss then says that that was a lack of character, because he didn't seek to know whose money it was. The woman then says that she didn't understand anything that was happening there and asks the boss to explain. He says that at his company, he wasn't looking for a good resume because it didn't mean anything to him. He says he was looking for good people who care about others. He says he looks for people he can trust and says he couldn't trust them since they had stolen their boss. The woman then says he could trust her and the boss says he couldn't trust either of them. He then asks them to leave his company. He then said that before they left, he wanted the two to return their money. They then return the money and leave. He says they were in luck as he wasn't going to call the police. The employee then says that there are a lot of bad people in the world and says that that kind of person would be a lot of work for the company. The employee then says that she would collect the money and put it away. The man then says that it was great to participate in that interview, but that he needs to leave. The boss then tells him to wait, because if she wanted to, the vacancy was his. The man then asks if he would be able to learn the job as he didn't have any college. The boss then says that he wasn't looking for college and that the man was welcome in his company. The man then says he is speechless and thanks the boss.